Hi, my name is Justin from Open Hands, and today we will be introducing the water kit. So Open Hands helps families living in drinking water contaminated areas by introducing this water kit so that they can drink continuously clean water and also recover their health and independence. So the water kit cleans water through three stages of filtration and they can clean 99.999% of the biocides that cause waterborne diseases. So the water kit has three different main components. The first component here is the microfilter. The microfilter is stacked in a multi-layer structure and is made out of fabric. This filter helps uh, remove foreign substances in the water and should be exchanged around once every month. Next, this is the carbon filter and it has an orange sticker on it. So the carbon filter is made of charcoal and ion exchangers that help clean out the taste and smell in the water. This filter should be exchanged around once every three months. Last but not least, this is the ultra filter and it has a green sticker on it. So the ultra filter is made up of a hollow fiber structure and this helps out clean out all form matter that is greater than 0.1 micrometers in size and also once again helps out clean the foreign substances in the water. This filter should be exchanged around once every 12 months. For all three of these filters, however, if the purification ability does not recover after the backwash process, they should be exchanged regardless of the average exchange cycle time. Now I'll be explaining the other various components of the water kit. First, this is the socket. The socket is made up of two silicon gaskets and a plastic bolt. It is used to connect a water kit onto the water container. This is the rubber hose. The rubber hose is simply used to connect the socket onto the water container. Now these two things are the filter caps. This one is the top and this one is for the bottom. And as you can see, they come in two different shapes and sizes, so it is easier to distinguish. Next, this is the rubber band and the stabilizing ring. These two components are used so that the water kit can be attached to the water container. Next, this is the S-ring. The S-ring is used so that the water kit can be stabilized comfortably onto the water container. Lastly, this is the backwash syringe. The backwash syringe is used to clean out the individual parts of the filter. And we will explain this later more in depth in the video. Once you first receive the water kit, it will come in this specific manner and it will be assembled just like this. So what you and now I will show you how to assemble the water kit. What you first want to do is get this socket and take off this rubber bolt and one, just one of the two silicon gaskets. Once you remove those two components, Get the socket and screw it on to the 18 millimeter hole down on the water container. Once you screw it on tightly, get the gasket and the bolt and screw it on from the inside of the container. Make sure to do this tightly so that the socket does not fall off. Once we have that, we will get the filter. And what we want to do 
is make sure everything is in the right place. So first remove the upper filter cap and make sure that there's a micro filter on the cap. This is very important. And once you have that, make sure that you have the carbon filter with the orange sticker, the ultra filter with the green sticker, and lastly, the bottom filter cap. Once you have all of those, screw it back in place. And now, we will get this stabilizing ring and rubber band and attach it to the filter. So what we want to do is make a little knot right here so that it's nice and tight and attach it to the green part of the filter. Just like this. Once you have it in place, now get the S ring and attach it to the handle of the water container. And what you'll do is first take off the little red cap on the orange side, which is the top side, and attach this little stabilizing ring onto the S ring. And just let it sit there for a little bit. And in the meanwhile, we will get this rubber hose, and this rubber hose should be cut appropriately depending on the distance between this filter cap and the socket. So once that is measured, this rubber hose should be cut appropriately and we will put this rubber hose into the socket. And once that is in the socket nice and tight, you will get the other side of the hose and attach it to the filter cap. And now, once you attach the silicon hose to the two components, take the filter off of the S-ring and disassemble the ultra filter from the carbon filter. And now, you will pour approximately one liter of water, of clean water, into the water container and just let that run through this carbon filter. So what that's gonna do is you're gonna discharge the waste from the carbon on the first use. Make you only need to do this the first time using these filters so that the waste from the carbon filter doesn't pollute the other parts of the filter. When the water first, coming, first starts coming out, it may be a little black but once it keeps running and takes out all the waste from the carbon, then the water will start to clear up, indicating that you can assemble the parts back together. Once you pour approximately one liter of water through the carbon filter, get this ultra filter, oh, my bad, assemble it back, and attach it back onto the S ring. And once all these steps are done, you're free to use. While using the water kit, you will find times when the amount of water coming out of the filter isn't as much as before. And that's because there is the waste stuck in each of the filters. What happens is when the water goes through, the water gets stuck on the waste and it will not come out as smoothly from the other side. So to cure this, we use something called the backwash method. The backwash method allows us to clean the waste out of the water filters and allows the water to run smoothly through the filters. For this process, we need the backwash syringe, the filter, and two bowls. One of the bowls should be completely empty, while the other bowl should be full of clean water. It's not full of water right now, but during the backwash process, this bowl should be filled with clean water. The first step is to get this filter and remove it from the rest of the kit. 
Once that is done, disassemble the carbon filter from the ultra filter. We will get the ultra filter, take the red cap off, and now get the backwash syringe. Put it into the bowl of clean water and simply suck in the water to the syringe. So once clean water fills up the backwash syringe, insert the syringe into the cap of the ultra filter. Now once it's in there, push out as strong as you can and water should come out from the other side. Now you're gonna repeat this process around 10 times. However, if not all the waste is gone and you still feel like the water isn't coming out smoothly from the other side, you can repeat this even more than 10 times as much as you need. Now once that is done, simply remove the filter cap from the ultra filter and attach it to the carbon filter. Now remove the other, other side and we're gonna repeat the same process. Get the backwash syringe, fill it up with clean water, insert it into the filter cap and just squeeze it out into the empty bowl. When the water comes out, you will repeat this process another 10 times and more if you need. Once the backwash process is done, get the filter cap that you took off, add it to the carbon filter, and take off the other side. Now you'll put back together the two filters, and lastly, put the filter cap back on where it started. Once that's done, put the red cap back on to the ultra filter and attach it back with the rest of the container. And now that was the backwash process.